what's going on everybody this is Island Hopper TV coming to you from downtown Santa Barbara. You can see we are beginning here on Stern's Wharf and we're going to be going downtown into downtown Santa Barbara on Cabrillo. That's actually State Street where we're going to be walking. Alright, so right here on the actual Cabrillo Boulevard see that nice water feature there we're gonna cruise State Street now let me say something I did a video on Duval Street in Key West and it was very popular I would say State Street is right on par with Duval Street in Key West so I'm comparing this street right here State Street to what I saw in Key West so uh, you're gonna want to watch as I go deeper into downtown because it does get more interesting as you get further into it. So Santa Barbara also has a mission, part of the Camino Real. For those of you who are into history, the Spanish were here in the late 1700s. Uh, obviously going north from here you get the Monterey Carmel area south of here you get uh, Santa Monica Santa Ana also San Juan Capistrano so the mission up here is popular uh, the Presidio in San Francisco is the northern most mission on Camino Real which also extends through Arizona and Sonora, Mexico. But anyways, we'll pick up a little later on here as I go underneath the freeway. The 101 is where it really starts to begin. So here we are on the right side of the road. There's the Wolf Museum of Exploration, the Moxie, and you have the railroad tracks. You can actually catch an Amtrak up here from Los Angeles or even San Diego, which is what I did. So let's keep going. Now, when I said I had to go under the uh, freeway here, that's the 101, I believe. And uh, that's, this is the, the bridge and the, the uh, walking underpass. And here I am going underneath the 101. Looks like they got land shark too. So it looks like a duck tour goes in and out of the water. Interesting. But now we're coming out of the other side here. So the first street you come to is Gutierrez. But like I said, the next one up, Healy, is actually where it all begins. All right, so I did just get a foot massage here from the Little Rainbow Foot Massage. Definitely, if you're having a uh, long day and you would like to relax for 45 minutes, great prices considering its location. So definitely recommend that. Here we have the adult store. I've never gone inside there. Nothing against it. Just didn't go inside it. Some jewelry and tattoos actually so you can do those three things right there on that corner approximately uh, 2 30 I believe let me confirm that for you the weather is outstanding it's actually 3 30 But when I say the weather is perfect, I mean, it's like sunny and warm, but it's got a nice breezy feeling to it. Definitely not overwhelmingly hot or humid. Looks like a buffet right there. Oh, wow. I might actually eat there later. New York pizza. Uncle Rocco's. And this here is Haley Street, which is actually 
not an area where you can drive. So I will just show you both sides here. Uh -huh. The Hannah Kitchen. Pedestrians only. But as you could imagine on a Sunday afternoon or a Saturday afternoon, just how nice this place is. Beautiful big trees. It's a Mexican restaurant, sand bar. The Institution Ale Company. And you can see there's more bars over here. So I will cruise over here just to show you. Patsy's Pizza, the Red Piano. Oh, here's a Irish bar called the O'Malley's right there. And we got another Mexican bar. guys are enjoying this travel guide so far please do consider liking the video and subscribing to his channel Joe's Cabe Cafe Joe's Cafe that's what that's called And it's going to get a bit more hustle and bustle as we continue to push on through here. State Street is actually quite long. But considering it's 3.30 in the afternoon on a Thursday, it's got people out. More than I thought, actually. If I would have waited till after 5, it would have been certainly way more action but that's okay for those of you who saw the Tijuana video that was a Sunday afternoon that Tijuana video actually ended up being one of my top videos that I've done recently by a long shot. So Tijuana was pretty popular with people. I like how they have a lot of bars out here. Pubs and stuff. Only in Santa Barbara Gifts. In case you're wondering what those blue banners say, it says heal the ocean. I can get on board with that. I love going places where they have the... Oh, what do they got over here? They have wild animals. Santa Barbara has had great white sharks swimming off her shores quite a few times recently.
So many restaurants. They got Pokey. Oh, they got a Supercuts. Is it haircut time? All right. Back out onto the main drag here. There is wine therapy. Indian food plus natural wine. As you guys know, there are vineyards out here. In fact, what is that? A popular town nearby here is called Solvang. And up along that direction is going to be plenty of different wineries and stuff but I would compare Santa Barbara downtown something like you would see in maybe San Clemente the, the San Clemente downtown is similar in looks but that one's definitely not flat like this which we didn't make a video about that one oh wow that's a little patios and stuff you can see just how much walking space and action there really is out here in Santa Barbara. So now we're coming up onto the road called Cannon Perdido. Obviously, if you followed this road all the way down to the ocean, you can walk all the way to the ocean and the beach is there. Oh, looks like they have a theater. called is that Fiesta 5 is this an Apple store Yeah. Well, State Street just keeps on going. Coming up onto Carrillo Street. Carrillo. So it's more like the uh, financial district where we're going up to here. Some other towns that I'm considering going up to, if you guys would like me to make those videos, uh, going to include Monterey. Maybe even Carmel, Santa Cruz. We'll see. So, we'll see how far north I go, but I would anticipate a stop in San Luis Obispo 
in Pismo Beach. It's kind of hard to tell what's better, Central California or SoCal in terms of beach communities. Both are really nice. It's kind of hard to judge. That's a pizza. So now we're coming up to Figueroa Street. We have a Figueroa in Los Angeles. For those of you who saw my Los Angeles video, that was pretty popular with people. So was the La Jolla one. Like I said, this is really a long walking street and it's nice. I like it. Look at this. statues. <laughs> I thought they were real. There's the San Santa Barbara Museum of Art. Granada, the hotel. I will say that uh, the hotels in the central area start at around $300 to $400 a night, even on the weekdays. So I don't know how much they are on the weekends. What is the Granada? Is that a hotel or a theater or both? a nice little area. Yeah, Santa Barbara State Street. Really beautiful. I like it. Some sushi. And here we are at Victoria Street. The barber shop. And the Starbucks.
train ride to get here took two and a half hours from Burbank. That was like North Hollywood. It's actually its own town north of Hollywood. I think we're coming up close to the mission of Santa Barbara. What do we got here? Oh man. Is this another theater? Santa Barbara International Film Festival. Oh, okay. Carlitos old stagecoach route. The first overland stagecoach route arrived in Santa Barbara April 1st, 1861. Celebrated by firing cannons. Okay. Arlington Hotel. So, some history there. They have that up and down this road, actually. It was history. Things. Somewhere around here is going to be the Mission Santa Barbara. Let me uh, check. All right, so here we are at the Mission of Santa Barbara. Look at this great view right up here. See down to the ocean, way out in the distance. All right, we've made it to Mission Day Santa Barbara. They call this a Moorish fountain, which is interesting because the Moors were from North Africa and they actually occupied Spain for a long time before the Catholics took it back. So Moors being kind of along the line of uh, Morocco, but here's the actual mission, pink, great view, if you look straight down there you can see the ocean and some oil tankers. So this is actually the mission, um, I believe I'm a little late so I think it's closed, but let's see what we got over here, it looks like a cemetery, beautiful man. It's a gorgeous place. So yeah, you're gonna have to come check this place out when you go to Santa Barbara because it's closed right now. But they have the Museum of Natural History and a botanical garden up this road here. And they have a cemetery, monastery. Let's see if I can get up there. There's an area up there called El Encanto, which translates to the Enchanted. Which is over there. Let's see here. Is this. So it's not open. I can't go here. Mount Calvary Monastery. Anyways. This is it. I don't think I can go any further, but I will check. Let's see here. It says no trespassing, so. What is this? They definitely have something going on on the right. Looks beautiful up there. Looks like they have some old structures here. Let's see if I can get you guys across the street. So this is the Mission Historical Park. obviously pause it but they got tannery vats which is definitely uh, Morocco got a reservoir up there and there's that old structure the pottery 1806 kind of looks like the uh, 
run down Alamo. We got across the street over here. More of the park. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this episode of Island Hopper TV from Santa Barbara. If any of you guys want to go up to there and do that hike, it's called the El Encanto. You might want to research that. And we shall see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. And let me know where you want me to go next.